Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Movie Story Recapped. Today, I am going to explain an American slasher thriller horror film called Hellfest released in 2018. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Before we started if you want to watch this full movie from authorized sources and also want to become YouTuber. Link is in the description. As the film begins, we are shown a haunted house. To scare the people, fake ghosts were placed here. In this haunted house, a girl is seen wandering around. Suddenly, a man with a creepy mask comes in front of her. The girl considers the man as a part of the haunted house. He's just trying to frighten her. She asks the man, have you done? I'm afraid of you, very funny. Now you must depart. However, the man murders her by stabbing her with a knife and hangs her there. The scene abruptly ends here. Following that, we see some college students who were friends. Today was their last day in college. They decide to spend the day nicely and will make it memorable. They all decide to go to Hell Fest for celebration. Natalie, one of their friends, refuses to go there. She claims, I dislike attending the Hell Fest. Her friends inform her that your best friend will also be present. Natalie is overjoyed when she hears this and agrees to accompany them. They attend Hell Fest. Hell Fest was, in fact, a Halloween festival that insisted on many scary things. They go inside to get a better view of Hellfest. Many people in this fest wore strange masks. It was looking terrible. It was a Halloween festival, so they were attempting to scare people. We used to go to parks and malls, and there were haunted houses. Anyway, the friends were enjoying there. Natalie's friend greets her and tells his other friends, they will have a great time tonight. The mask man, whom we had previously seen, is shown again. Mask man, we'll call him. The mask man mistakenly collides with a girl. What kind of useless man are you? The girl asks. I'm not afraid of you. When the mask man hears it, he becomes enraged. He steals a knife to kill the girl. The friends decide to go the most horror place of this fest. That was basically a zombie theme. There were many terrible people in zombies makeup. They were giving a horrifying look and horror voices could be heard there. They were witnessing all of the heinous events. Natalie gets scared after seeing these things. Her friends makes fun of her. They explore the zombie theme properly. They were about to leave, but a girl comes to them while running. She was saying the mask man will kill me, please save me. Actually, she was the girl with whom the mask man collided. He was chasing her to kill her. The girl hides behind a curtain. The mask man approaches those friends and inquires about the girl. Natalie informs him that the girl is hidden behind the curtain. The mask man arrives and takes the girl away. He tries to kill her. Seeing it, they're all thinking maybe it's part. It's being done to frighten them. They didn't stop that mask man. They weren't afraid of him that's why the masked man stabs the girl with the knife. But they still thought it was all a hoax. Natalie feels strange, she feels like this all is real. She tells this to her friends. That the mask man has killed the girl in reality. Her friend says no there is nothing like this, everything is fake here. It is being done to scare the people. They proceed, but Natalie notices the mask man again. She ignores him, but she keeps seeing him. Natalie suspects the man and was thinking about the man in the mask. Her friend takes her from there. Natalie was exploring the fest with her friend. They play all the games there. Natalie and her friends spend a good time together. They were on their way to the location ere the photographs were taken. They take a lot of pictures of them. Natalie's female companion was also present outside. She notices the masked man there. He takes Natalie's pictures, which she captured and leaves. Natalie's friend calls him and follows him. She tries to stop him, but till then he had run. While chasing him, Natalie's friend arrives at a deserted place. Natalie's friend questions why he is hiding from her. I will not be frightened of you. She moves forward while saying this. It was a dreadful place. She gets scared because her friend arrives suddenly. 
Her friend asks, did you get the pictures? She replies no, the masked man has run from here being scared. They return to their friends. They decide to take a ride on a fast swing. Natalie's friend refuses to go with them. Because he needs to buy some toys for Natalie. So her friends proceed from there. Natalie's friend moves to buy toys for her. There were a lot of expensive toys in the shop he went to. He doesn't have much amount. That is why he departs from there. Meanwhile, he notices a man. He emerged from the basement, clutching a slew of toys. Natalie's friend believes the toy's price is lower in the basement. That's why he moves into the basement. When he moved there wasn't anyone and it was a deserted place. He opens a locker and takes out a toy when he was leaving the masked man comes in front of him. Seeing it, he gets scared. He says, you again, come here, why are you chasing us? Saying this, Natalie's friend was leaving. The masked man makes him fall down due to it, Natalie's friend becomes furious. He says ill to him. He starts abusing him. Meanwhile, the masked man hits his neck with a hammer and the bone in his neck breaks as a result, he was unable to stand. As a result of the hammer striking his head, the masked man crushes his head. He died in an untimely manner. The mobile of Natalie's friend rings. The masked man takes his mobile and there was Natalie's message. The masked man replies to her and asks her location. Natalie, while considering him her friend tells him the location. Natalie and her friends were going to take another ride. They sit on the ride and it starts. But it stops suddenly. A masked man comes to Natalie. She screams when she sees it but in the meantime, a swarm of other masked men arrives. The fact that the masked man is a part of the theme indicates that it is a forgery. They come to frighten them. Moving forward, they reach a strange room. Human body parts that had been cut were placed there. A strange man scares them. They escape and come out from there. Meanwhile, Natalie's two male friends were alone. The train starts moving, but one of them runs from there, the other stuck there. The mask man arrives. He pushes Natalie's friend and inserts a sharp object from his pocket into his eye. He died in a gruesome manner. His eye comes out. Natalie's friends were waiting for him. Meanwhile, a strange clown comes to Natalie. He vomits on her shirt. Then he runs, Natalie's friends start laughing at her. To clean it, Natalie goes to the washroom. Someone knocks on the door hurriedly when she was in the washroom. She notices the man's shoes outside and recognizes him as the masked man. She goes to the other washroom to save her life. The masked man also comes there. He pulls Natalie's head while holding it. Natalie escapes and runs from there. She tells everything to her friend, they go to the washroom with a guard. The masked man had run from there. Her friend notices the pictures that have fallen there. Those were Natalie and her friend's photos. Those photos were taken by the masked man. They believe the masked man intended to kill everyone after seeing it. Coming out, they tell their friends that they must leave soon. Natalie's friend tells them about his friend that don't know where had he gone. We can't leave without him. Following that, he informs his female friend she has gone to participate in this show. The show has begun, as we can see from the stage. Natalie's friend was lying down when a prank was played on her. A blade was fixed near her neck. Her neck was about to cut. But then Natalie notices the masked man there. She understands that her friend's neck is about to cut in reality. She tries to stop them. But the guards were not letting her move forward. The blade falls on her friend's neck. We discover that it was all a prank and that Natalie's friend was actually a dummy. The real prank will now be played. It indicates that the masked man is about to sever Natalie's friend's neck in real life. He threw Natalie's friend in there. Natalie's friend flees from there as he adjusts the blade. The masked man also comes outside. He hits her with a knife in front of all. When her friend tries to save her the masked man kills him too. When they see it, they become terrified and flee in all directions. Natalie and her female companion are both terrified. They were looking for a way to get out of there. They enter into a place. But the masked man sees them going inside and chases them. They keep moving inside and it was dark inside. There was a laser light under each room, if anyone crossed it. A siren would sound. Natalie notices this. She suggests to her friend that we stay here. If we proceed, the siren will sound, alerting him to the fact that we have arrived. Natalie declares, believe me, 
I will not cause you harm. They went into a room and locked the door. They wait for the mask man to leave. The mask man leaves after some time, they see his shadow when he left they try to run from there. Moving forward, they see the door is closed. Natalie's friend starts weeping seeing it. Natalie makes her quiet while saying, don't worry, I'm here, we'll get out of here. They entered a room, there were some wooden rods. They decide that it is critical to assassinate the mask man. Like this, they will come out. They take the wooden rods to kill him, later, they go to a room. There were many dummies with the same faces. They move forward, when the mask man appears, Natalie slaps him across the face with the wooden rod. This gives them the opportunity to flee from there. They then move to another room, where there were many dummies. The mask man also arrives there. Natalie suddenly raises her voice. As a result, the mask man discovers their presence. Natalie attempts to flee. But, she couldn't. The mask man hits an axe on her head. She faints as a result of it, but Natalie's female friend flees. While running, his foot comes into contact with the laser light. As a result, the siren sounds. The mask man discovers her and starts chasing her. He holds Natalie's friend. He appears to be planning to murder Natalie's friend. The siren sounds and the door opens as the mask man touches the laser light. Natalie comes out of the room. She kills the mask man with the knife. She comes out and kills him. Later, the police arrive and rescue them. The police officers were unable to find the mask man's dead body. Only his blood was present. They were saved in this manner. Following that, we see the scene of mask man's house. We learn here that he had a young daughter. The mask man appeared to be a normal human on the outside, but he was a psycho. This is where the film comes to an end.